Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to clean install Windows 10 and Windows 11. Clean installing Windows is advantageous if you want to speed up an old computer or if you plan on giving away the computer or selling it. It will wipe all of your apps and files on the computer. If you do not want to do this and only install Windows 11, skip to the timestamp on the screen right now. The first step is to make a bootable USB for the Windows ISO. The official method of installing Windows 11 includes clean installing Windows 10 first. This URL will be in the description below. Download and run the media creation tool. Once the media creation tool is open, go ahead and accept the license agreement. Then click Create Installation Media for another PC. Click Next. Then make sure the architecture is selected on 64-bit, Windows 10, and your preferred language. Then click Next. After that, make sure USB flash drive is selected. If it says we can't find a USB flash drive, go ahead and plug one in if you haven't yet. Then click Refresh Drive List. Select your USB drive and click Next. This process might take some time depending on the speed of your computer. Wait for it to complete. Once it says your USB flash drive is ready, go ahead and hit finish and eject the USB drive. We can move on to the next step of installing it on our target computer. Once we are here at our target computer, or the computer where we want to clean and install Windows 10, go ahead and plug the USB drive in. Once it gets a confirmation that the USB drive is plugged in, click the Start menu and then press the Power button. After you press the Power button, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and click Restart. If you have done that correctly, you should come up with a screen that says please wait with some loading dots above it. Once you see this screen, go ahead and click troubleshoot, then click advanced options, and then click UEFI firmware settings, and restart. This should take us to the BIOS menu of our computer. Some settings you will need to change are the secure boot settings. Make sure secure boot is enabled. You should be able to find this in the boot menu. If you have an AMD CPU, make sure FTPM is enabled. If you have an Intel CPU, make sure platform trust technology is enabled. If you cannot find any of the settings I just talked about, that might mean your computer is not compatible with Windows 11. But don't worry, you still will be able to clean install Windows 10 for now. These requirements might change in the future for Windows 11, so don't think you have to buy a new computer right now. Just follow the steps, and once you get to the Windows 11 part, you still may be able to download it. All the controls will be at the bottom of the screen to change the settings. Once you get to the boot menu, you should find something that says boot priority order. If you see something like USB hard drive or USB and a name beside it, make sure that is the number one slot. We want our computer to boot from the USB and not our internal hard drive. Once that's in the number one priority, go ahead and hit save and exit. There should be an exit menu or at the bottom of the screen it will say a key combination to exit. Click exit, saving changes. Once your computer has rebooted, you should see some loading uh, dots on the screen and this purple screen. That means we have successfully booted to the USB drive. Now click next choosing your languages and then click install now afterward. Click I accept the license terms and click next. Then click custom install windows only and then select every partition and click delete. This is your last chance to back up your data. After this, all of your data will be wiped. Once you're done deleting all of it, you can go ahead and click the one unallocated partition.
It should say drive zero on allocated space. Once that's selected, go ahead and click next. This process should be pretty quick depending on the speed of your USB and the hard drive inside your computer. Once it says restarting in 10 seconds, go ahead and restart and unplug the USB. As soon as the screen goes black, make sure the USB is unplugged to ensure that it boots from the uh, SSD inside the computer. If you get the loading dots, that means it's successfully booted. Wait for this process to complete. Once you get to a screen where it says just a moment, you can go ahead and set up your computer as you normally would. Once you're completed with that, you should be thrown to the desktop. When it asks choose privacy settings for your device, I recommend leaving find my device on and location if you have a laptop. And make sure diagnostic data is on because to install Windows 11, we need to have that on. The other three can be disabled. Once you're at the desktop, we can complete our clean install of Windows 10 by updating all of our apps. To update everything, go ahead and click Settings, and then go to the Update and Security tab. Go ahead and click Check for Updates and Update Everything. There should also be a button that says view optional updates below that. This will install all of your driver updates to make sure that your computer is running smoothly. Select all of the optional updates and click download and install at the bottom. Now just wait for all of these to download and install, and once it's completed, click Restart Now. Once all the updates say Pending Restart, you can go ahead and click Restart Now. And once the updates are done, you're ready to go. This is your clean install of Windows 10. You can move along if you want to install Windows 11. Installing Windows 11 is pretty simple. All we have to do is go to the Settings panel, Update and Security, and then the Windows Insider program. Go ahead and click Get Started once the page loads in. If it says that your PC does not meet the minimum hardware requirements recommended, your PC still can run Windows 11, but it might be less than ideal. So once you click Get Started, go ahead and click Register, and then click Sign Up and then accept the terms and submit. Once it says you're good to go, go ahead and click close and then click link an account. Click continue. Make sure that the dev channel is selected. If you only see the release preview channel, that means you cannot install Windows 11. The beta channel has not released Windows 11 yet. Make sure dev channel is installed. Then click restart now. Once you've restarted and logged back in, go ahead and open the settings panel again. Once you click check for updates, the Windows 11 update should just pop up. You might have to click check for updates multiple times before it shows up. Once it says downloading and installing, you're good to go. 
Just wait for the update to complete and once you reboot after the update is completed, in Windows 11 will be installed. Once you sign back into Windows, you'll be greeted with the new start menu and new taskbar. You can go ahead and explore everything on your own and you'll see all the new features of Windows 11. Windows 11 is constantly updated since right now it is still in the dev channel, but eventually once it is fully released to the public, you won't be getting that many updates. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please comment down below.